There's a lot of guides out there on how to convert old Dell office PCs into high-end gaming PCs, but most of them reuse the old ugly stock case since Dell uses proprietary front panel headers. Today we're going to show you how to use our wiring conversion kit to make your PC look like this. We've designed an adapter kit to enable you to use conventional PC cases with some of Dell's motherboards that have proprietary connectors. This will get rid of those annoying front panel errors and retain the original diagnostic indicators that were on the original case. The three-piece adapter kit we sell currently works with the Dell Optiplex 390, 3010, and 3020 desktops that are a full-width mid-tower. They will not work with the small form factor or SFF desktops since they use a different connector and don't have a rear I.O. shield. We do sell the 5-6 to six pin power button LED adapter separate and it will work with almost any Dell desktop that has a 5-6 to six pin connector for the front panel power button. You can get these adapters in the card linked above or linked in the video description. At the top of the board where the power button cable plugs in, plug in the power button adapter aligning the white arrow with the same side as the white mark on the corner of the header on the motherboard. Now you can plug in the front panel power button, power LED, and optionally the diagnostic LED. The diagnostic LED is the original yellow power light that indicates blink codes if there's a problem with the motherboard. You don't have to use it, but you can plug the hard drive LED into it if you want to keep this feature. Next, the hard drive indicator and diagnostic LED adapter plugs in where the larger front panel connector goes. Keep in mind that this has only been tested to work with the Optiplex 390, 3010, and 3020 desktops. Using this adapter in the wrong orientation or on a different desktop could cause damage to your motherboard. For the 390 and 3010 models, you need to connect the adapter in this orientation and make sure to align the white notch on the adapter with the missing pin on the header. Then plug in the optional hard drive LED. For the 3020 models, there are pins that are not used and the connector connects upside down while aligning the white notch on the adapter with the missing pin on the header. The diagnostic LED will not work on this model, but the hard drive LED will work and this will also get rid of that annoying front panel error when starting it up. The USB header adapter is not necessary, but it will remove the front panel error on startup. All three of these adapters and the HD audio connector on your front panel need to be connected in order to get rid of the front panel error on startup. On the green USB header, go ahead and align the USB header adapter with the white notch on the left of the adapter with the white mark on the left side of the header. Then connect the front USB header to the adapter. You don't have to connect the front panel headphone jack, but again this will get rid of the front panel error. If you don't have a front panel headphone jack, then you can just use a jumper across the two top left pins of the audio header. This will also remove the front panel error on startup. This kit is also completely open source, so you can find the links to the GitHub repository if you want to get schematics for the adapters and make your own. Hopefully this helped you convert your desktop, and if you have any suggestions for other adapters you might be interested in, feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching.